Hello from Slovenia again. I will just, I have a mess all around. It's play day again in my studio. Uh, and last time when we did um, that flower dip with Marina, uh, I used some paints mixed with uh, primary elements, Amsterdam paints, and they totally bleed into the other colors. So today I added a little bit of um, liquid X gloss medium into those paints and I will try to do a double dip uh, because I think that maybe even if they will bleed in this double dip it will not be so bad or how can I say I just want to see because I don't want to throw them away <laughs> or something because they didn't work well with my pores so I will try to experiment a little more and I am using this uh, Naples yellow green for my base because I think that it could look nice with those colors like a base. I love this color, I don't know why, but I do. It's so interesting with this green shade. Where is my torch? A ton of air bubbles. Okay, and I will use some 24 karat gold too for maybe some lacing and I will start with that one. And I will add some of this olive green deep from Amsterdam and next will be olive green light mixed with primary elements olive wine such a beautiful color I really want that this would work And hmm, let's drizzle some pearl white. And this is a uh, Russian phthalo Amsterdam mixed with. Paints gray primary elements. It's a really beautiful dark blue color, so <laughs> we will see if with this technique will work better. And this is Bayo iridescent blue green. And this will be probably it. Maybe I will throw in a little of this thin down black for some cells or something. I will thin it down really. It's totally runny, you see. Totally like water. this tin down black it's Amsterdam oxide black tin down totally 
does create any <clears throat> uh, little different details so I don't know what will happen <laughs> again but if you don't try you don't know you know that already I forgot to put my gloves on so let's put this together and lift them up squeeze Slowly separate them. Not much of the effects. kind of like this transparency in some places so storage this just a little bit my thin down black didn't do much here are popping through so I will just try to I don't know torch a little more maybe or maybe I just I'm just adding too much paint lately I don't know but I have too much paint I love what is here on the table I will definitely dip something in it. But I don't really know if that even makes any big difference, this um, gloss medium but I really love those colors together I will just scrape this in one of my cups so that's how it looks when I experiment <laughs> again but you, I asked you a few videos ago, what do you think about uh, showing you how I play with my paint, how I do, what I do, how I get to some, I don't know, ideas. So maybe it's today again the day for this I can have this for kind of a flow extender I just have to wipe my hands um, so this probably will not be video for somebody who just want to see a beautiful creation or something this is more you know for us who are learning and uh, who we enjoy in this experiment so because I will try to do kind of a ring pour or straight pour or something too to see what will happen I just kind of love these colors together I want to see if there will be still a lot of bleeding or not.
this time I didn't add pearl white. top maybe a little of this tin down black and see what will happen so I will just pour this here to have a little more paint to play with this middle a little bit because I kind of don't like it just like this Oop. all the beautiful things wants to flow off Let you do that. And I will leave this to dry because I want to see what will happen. So the next time I will know if I can um, use this in some pores uh, and that they will stay, that I will have still some uh, of that um, lines or everything will just bleed into the other colors so I will show you the oh, have a glare show you the dry results on Sunday in on my Sunday live so they will be dry till then and I will be able to tell you what happened. If maybe this will work better for me if I add um, gloss varnish into it. Because as you can probably see it looks quite stunning right now. For my taste, at least, I really love it. Uh, so definitely, really curious what will happen. And these are the dips, double dips. Uh, 
not a lot of lacing or effects or something but kind of like this transparency of the colors and how they bleed together here so here is not an issue for me if my colors with primary elements bleed a little bit so but this one I I really really love because it has stunning details just gorgeous and I love those colors I love olive greens uh, and how this olive green blends into this um, Naples yellow green it gives it this 3d light kind of look that something is glowing in there so we will see on Sunday what will happen with this painting. I really hope that it will dry as half as beautiful as it is because I like it. <laughs> this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!